Why, hello there. It's Maggie time. Maggie is very weak uh, in terms of damage, but very strong in terms of HP. And we have to go as far as Mega Satan. So, in order to... Very slow as well, don't even notice. In order to do well here, we're going to need to get very strong. Because we're going to need to try and avoid anything that uh, hurts us like, <laughs> like that. Uh, and pick up anything that can really help. This Degar's room, for example, will give us the protection we need on the next floor to give us a strong chance of getting a deal with the devil. Gemini? Didn't really mention the Gemini pickup, but on these first two floors, at the very least, Gemini's a very strong help indeed. What a very small floor this turned out to be. Monstro should be easy enough. With Gemini damage just icing on the cake, really. It's probably going to be our principal damage dealer for a large part of the Maggie run. Simply because Maggie herself is so, so, so... Uh, Offensively poor. Yeah, that was good damage. In the sense of sarcasm in which much of it was not good damage, it was bad damage. Pacifier Binky. I said pacifier. Uh, like I'm an American. I think that's just what I heard Northern Lion say once and I'm copying him to be cool. So we'll use this here. It gives us uh, a second spirit heart and purge whatever curse we had, but I suspect we have no curse. I think we're safe in that regard. Battery, not much help right now. Also not much help right now, but if we find a room with a tinted rock or some similarly uh, appealing room in which you would like to smash all the rocks, maybe there's a treasure hidden in the middle of them. We will go back and get that and use it for now, though. Uh, how do I feel about this run? Well, I am not confident. I will be straight. Uh, where was the challenge to that room? <laughs> okay. I'm not confident that we can beat Mega Satan as Maggie on an average run, basically. Uh, at least we know that the boss items are not completely HP. Uh, which, <laughs> which is good, because on a Maggie run, the last thing we need is an infinite amount of HP. But on the other hand, we can't re-roll them, so... At least we're not re-rolling them into HP, but also we can't re-roll them into anything, so we have to settle with what we've got. Do I want a range upgrade? Sure. Do I feel good about taking damage against... Um... Larry Jr.? No. Do I want Judas and Shadow? Yes. Let's see if we can use this constructively. Should I probably have taken the Razor Blade? <laughs> what? Razor Blade versus Yumheart? You know? Who cares? I'm not going to use either of them. Especially not once I've killed myself as Dark Judas. Uh, killed myself and come back as Dark Judas. There are no... I was really hoping for a, a sacrifice room, to be honest. Look. There is a Tinted Rock here. Fuck it. We'll kill ourselves here. It's a terrible, terrible idea. It'll probably be the end of our run. But we need to be strong. And I don't mean in the sense of, you know, buckle down soldier. Worst things happen at sea. I mean... <laughs> We are weak as shit. We might as well keep not Axe, because honestly, a three room charge and being able to smash all the rocks in a room. Now I think about it, that doesn't sound that weak. Not compared to Yumheart being able to heal yourself once every bajillionty forevers. Uh, okay, that didn't actually help us with the strength requirement of this run, but we do have two HP, which is stronger than Judas normally is, so ah, it may have been worthwhile. We'll see what's down here. We'll probably find out it's a black market. It's not a black market. That's fine with me. We're a bit slow on this floor, but we should be able to make up the speed now that we've got a decent amount of damage. So I'm feeling more confident in general about our chances on this run, but not, not that confident. Okay. Let's see what we get out of these. I believe we can't really get anything out of these, but I thought I'd try because there's nothing. Uh, yeah, this way. Of course... Not watching where I'm going and backtracking too much is also going to lead to us taking more time than we should. Let's go. We need to be faster. Uh, a boss rush is an imperative. 
not just an option. I'm concerned that we can't use the curse. We can't play the curse stream, which is possibly a, a vein. If if you didn't take Dark Judas on the last floor and use the curse stream to get it, well, <laughs> more fool me, I guess. The quarter. Let's see what the shop contains. If we can find out what the shop contains, then we can make an educated decision as to whether the quarter is actually better for us than. Oh, careful. Uh, then it isn't. It contains a spirit heart, which I will buy. And we will re roll. Oh, I don't know, the quarter's pretty good in some situations. Let's gamble on it. What's the worst could happen? It gives us the bean, right? Uh, freeze effect is actually probably going to help us a lot more than 25 cents would. But we're probably not going to go into the shops to prove ourselves wrong, which is the best way of being right, I suppose. That was a good dodge. Don't pretend that I meant to do it, but it was still a good dodge. Larger is not a one I want to be. But that's okay. Gemini really pulling its weight. We've been to the shop and we've been to the item room. We've got a frail fight, did that say? Who's... <laughs> Already nearly dead. Don't let the frail fool you. We died to the lost on this. Uh, me and Pete, remember that? You probably remember that. We've started to get the hang of the frail fight, but obviously not that much, apparently. Uh, HP is very helpful for us here, and we are so quick right now. I want to be out of here within the next minute, but until then... Uh, we should explore. Stay back. Ooh, I nearly blew myself up whilst trying to avoid the thing that was going to blow me up. I nearly did it again. Super rough, what can you give me? Fuck all, apparently. The bombs will help. We could probably find a secret room. And I think... Ooh. That's pretty decent. I think now that we've got the HP, even though it's going to cost us a damage score penalty, actually... Use our bomb here. It's not there. Right. We would have been better off looking for a second bomb if that had been the secret room. But we found two spirit hearts, so I can't really complain about that. Uh, we should probably do this room and then leave. Well, there's a mob trap room then. Gemini, again, really helping out with those enemies that I'm sort of... I'm not hugely happy with our damage, even though we're Dark Judas, because it's not going to carry us for the rest of the game. Uh, I'm not complaining about it. It's not like we're at Maggie's original level. And I think we may have actually lost Maggie's penalty, because we're not Maggie anymore with Judas. It's not going to be there, so it's probably here. Yeah. Uh, great. <laughs> Thanks. Is there a bomb for sale? It doesn't matter. We can't get it. Oh well. Uh, Mr. Mega there is not... Is that Mr. Mega? It's not the most important pickup for us. So we won't sweat too much the fact we couldn't have it. It would be very nice to have had it. But you win some, you lose some. Let's see what we can do. On this floor, it's the Flooded Caves 2. So we're well ahead of schedule for Boss Rush, which is where we want to be. We need to be ahead of schedule, not, you know, on schedule. Because we want to give ourselves the leeway to royally screw it up. Ah, oh, it's very tempting. We'll do it. Whilst we're here. Uh, this is not a good time. <laughs> I don't want this to be the case. Let's go. Telephils. Relax. No bombs. Ah, it's Germany though. Telephils. Health up. Okay, I'm fine with that. Why did I get an HP? Did I pick one up whilst that happened? Perfect. Die. Ah. Oh. Avoid! Avoid! <laughs> okay. Pay some more attention. You know, we're going to take bad damage. It's inevitable. Deal with it. Move on. Should we take Curse of the Thingy? Yes. Why? Because I'm fundamentally broken in the way I make my decisions. And every time we get hit, a load of bombs will spawn on the floor and it'll be funny. There we go. Hopefully also very helpful to us. Well, got hurt several times on that room, but... That's okay, because I expect to get hurt several times in future, because of my inability to make good decisions about uh, the collection of items in this game. Never mind. 
don't mind. Still feeling reasonably confident about it. The Dark Judas transformation on the first floor is going to be a great help. Uh, if It would have been reasonably easy to take damage on that floor, especially if you didn't get the Dagar's room, which I think we got from a cursed room. So if you're not in the habit of going to cursed rooms, I can easily see how you would have been in this, this second floor with only the one spirit heart from Binky, assuming you took Binky. Uh, yeah, Binky. Which I always thought was a horse, but it was apparently uh, a dummy. Okay. Uh, and therefore, being on the second floor with only one spirit heart, took some dumb damage, didn't get to deal with the devil. Especially against the second floor boss. Didn't get Dark Judas. Probably got to deal with the devil on this floor. Although, there was that spirit heart. Oh no, there wasn't a spirit heart, was there? Because the Tinted Rock had uh, a golden chest in it. We don't want to really go in there. I'm half tempted to have a look just to see whether there's a, a spirit heart for sale to keep us survivable. We've got 4 HP and we're not doing too badly. We haven't found our ice room yet, so I'm going to do that. Now, I'll do the boss first. We've got plenty of time, but that's no reason to squander it, you know? Oops. Uh, yes. No. <laughs> Chop hate smoke. Just saying. FYI. Well, uh, just take him on while he's disabled. This uh, freeze effect, as you can see, definitely worth a pickup. So if you didn't re roll a quarter, I bet you wish you had. Uh, I think the nail probably, hands down, beats. Oh, right. <laughs> Forgot that would happen. Uh, hands down, beats. Notched Axe. If nothing else, it does the same thing as Notched Axe. Less often, I grant you. But at the same time, it gives you a Spirit Heart anyway. Whereas normally you'd use Notched Axe, notched axe in the hope that a Tinted Drop would give you a Spirit Heart. So, can't really complain, right? I mean, I can. I think I would be unjust to complain. Which is what the phrase really means. The sentiment behind the phrase is it would be unjust to complain. But of course, the fact of the matter is, if you want to complain, I'm sure you'll find a way. 8-inch nails is a huge damage upgrade. Especially for us as Dark Judas, so I expect a lot of people will be doing very well on this run. I'm just going to leave now. I want to try and stay ahead of the 8-ball. Ahead of the curve. One jump. Ahead of the... Hood rats. I don't know. What are the words? That's Aladdin, by the way, for all you youths out there what haven't seen it. We're so far ahead, though. It's an XL floor as well, so... Our worrying was in vain. Well, not in vain, but not not important, not required. I'm going to use a bomb here rather than uh, rather than the, the nail. I know I could be using the nail more often, and if a battery charge would like to drop to absolve me of my indecisions, that would be f fantastic, fantastic. But it is not happening so far. We don't, we don't need the damage that the nail gives us, but at some point we're going to... I'm just going to use it. Hell with it. So I think we're strong enough to do bus rush, yes. by all means. Uh, run away. That was <laughs> very well done, considering how how that normally goes. Let's open this, see what we get. What did we pick up from the shop? I've forgotten. Let's have a look on the left, shall we? No, I don't think we get anything from the shop, maybe. Oh, three waves, right. I got hit. Don't let that happen to you. Don't let that happen to you. Don't be a victim, everybody. Don't let three waves... Don't don't let yourselves forget. There's always three waves. I'm talking shit. We'll do this, because this is clearly a secret room. That's enough money to buy something. This is a greed fight. Who's going to die forthwith? Trace the end. A luck upgrade is very nice. And a wooden nickel. That's half of the course, I suppose. Not very lucky to have a wooden nickel. Luck upgrade, if you'd like to pull your weight a little bit more, I'd be kind of happy with that. Much, much happier than I am. So we want to be doing the boss rush. We want to be doing the hush rush. I think we're perfectly equipped to do both of these. Two of hearts is useless for us. Uh, I'm not going to take that. 
Uh, I'm sure it would be entertaining to try to take that. But I think it would cause us a lot of heartache when it came to the Mega Satan fight to find that we had anti-grav tears and we couldn't figure out how to use them. Also, I think it would probably do me more harm than good. And at this stage, with my skill level, which is not that great, I want to give myself an advantage. <laughs> and if it's a 30 points advantage rather than a, a skill based advantage, then so be it. But I think that I would be at a strong disadvantage if I was running around with anti grab tears trying to figure out how the fuck to play the game in this situation. And there's my. I avoided all of those. Blow up! Thank you. But I took stupid damage. That's a room I just don't really know how to deal with. What hit me just now? Ah, they turned to ponies, okay. Well, whatever. Some of these rooms are turning out to be the sorts that I don't know how to deal with. Which is a phrase I've used twice in quick succession, but it is the case. Um, that was just <laughs> completely unexpected. But let's try to stop taking silly damage. We're going fast, but that doesn't mean we need to rush, right? Less haste, more speed. More haste, less speed. Yeah, that one. I am already fast, but that doesn't mean we need to be hasty. And I think hastiness is causing me trouble right now. The full card. The full card can be helpful to us. Absolutely. You go over there. Nothing. Okay. Well, it was worth the bombs, uh, I think. They're not in short supply. And if there's any, if there's ever a reason to use bombs, it's to see if you can get a spirit heart out of purple or blue fires. Dun, 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 full card. We don't really want this either, so that's pretty good. We do we want this? Or much larger? No. Okay, okay then. What the blue side this was? The tower. Uh, I'm kind of sorted for towers actually. We don't. Uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for the offer, but we do not need that. Uh, only one, as you wish. Nails ready again. Just in time. Could have been better times, Mr. Nail. Mr. Nail. Nailo. Naily. Please, thank you. Uh, so we'll do one. One boss fight. And then see how we're doing for time. Uh, obviously, we want to do boss rush. And we could just leave with the full card if we really wanted to. You know, uh, do the mom fight, leave, do the rest of the floor, come back. But I don't know, maybe the full card is going to be useful later on than just some sort of semi mid level play. But let's just get out of the mom fight. Oh, yeah, big book. You know that the full card can teleport you out of the mom fight once you're trapped in. But we've got so much time. Why? Why waste it? We're not in any desperate rush. Well, we are. We're in a desperate rush for the boss rush, but we're not tight for time on that, so we should do the rooms naturally, I think. We don't want to escape boss rush, which is uh, obviously always the case in these daily runs, but rarely the case in a normal run. Normally, you would want to, unless boss rush is your target for the postcard, you don't want to skip it. Uh, you don't want to do it, you want to skip it. Uh, that's not the case today. Yeah, that's going to be helpful a bit further on, and we'll probably take this as well. The shot's been more valuable to us than either of the item rooms on this floor, so it's making me think maybe I should have picked up the, the 25 cents in the first place, the court in the first place. We've got so much time. This room doesn't even bear thinking about. Probably won't want to do that, although we could open the rock and see if we get a single penny out of it. I'm not going to suggest that's worth the time. In my opinion, what's in here? Stuff. Rules card. Rules card. Rooms may yield more than you expect. Experimentation is key. What do we decide this one? Two of hearts. We'll just use it because it's in my way. Full card. You value. We're, we're so powerful now. Champion belt. Uh, champion belt causes more champions to show up, hence the name. Um, but increases your damage to compensate, basically. Uh, we've already got plenty of champions. I'm not going to worry too much. I'm not going to get too bent out of shape worrying about more champions. Oh, yeah, big whoop. Uh, I'll walk over that, though, just to sacrifice one to the nail god, I suppose. This is good. You can do this more often, Mom. Careful. Listen for the sound. She always yells before the foot comes down. But that's not necessarily always enough 
actual notice. So do be careful. But there's no point moving around too much. That was dumb damage. But oh, the bombs are on their way. So there you go. Uh, moving around too much just means that you'll probably walk back into this. <laughs> walk into mom. That thing exploded in my face, which does not please me. Uh, when you didn't want to. Like, when she comes down again, you just walk straight back into her. Uh, we'll get a good amount of charges on these. Do the thing so I can attack him. You. No, don't go this way! Why did you have to stop over the friggin' flames, you bastard? Okay. We'll get a good amount of charges on our nail fight during this, and we only needed one charge to get back into a sort of a, an out of control, very strong damage. Position. So, our original naysaying about the nature of a Maggie run being very poor and unstrong, etc., etc., has been summarily resolved by the fact that we are no longer that character. It's honestly I didn't expect on a daily run like this, but it happened. That was not great. But I guess these bombs are going to help every so often. If we do get hit, at least we've got. Uh, the Curse of the Tower, which at the time I thought was not necessarily a great idea, but now that we've got something like Boss Rush to contend with, such that whenever we get hit, <laughs> we just spawn a bunch of bombs way out of our own way, but in the middle of the room, where hopefully there's something hanging out. Kind of puts a, a different different uh, stance on, on the issue. These things are very mobile at the same time, and it doesn't please me. But we only need to do so many waves before we can use the nail, so if we don't get hit... Is it is it two? Yeah, it's two charges per wave, so we can just avoid getting hit three times in a row. Oh, it's a really... Oh, it's normal Dingle, okay. So we want to worry about uh, get rid of Dingle, and then this thing's going to attack us. There we go. Where did that spirit heart come from? Uh, who knows? Just shoot this thing whilst it's disabled and get rid of this. Oh, there's so much on the screen at once today. Maybe we can try to put a bomb down for there we go. The regular sized chat over here. He decided to go the other way. Let's see if we can keep up our newfound dodging skills. That was not my newfound dodging skill by any stretch of the imagination. Look. It's half a heart each time we get hit. I don't even want to know what the other one is. Chill. Right. How the heck did you get in there? What happened just now? <laughs> and how did I avoid taking damage there? Wow. If anybody could uh, sort of do a frame-by-frame -frame analysis of what just happened, that's, that's not brilliant either. <laughs> uh, I'd be super pleased because it seemed like the cage here just jumped straight over the top of me. I thought the cage landed where you were, but apparently it just jumped straight over the top of me and went somewhere completely different. We'll use our nail again, try and get the spirit hearts back. We don't seem to be losing horrendously. Are you dropping poops? No. You're the champion version which I can cope. Oh no, you are dropping poops. Okay, okay, then. Why is the nail damaging you? <laughs> also, what a time for concussion shots to take effect, just as the fastest single of all was about to hit me in the face. Couldn't have done better if I tried. There's an angel. Two diff I keep putting difficult fights together in this run, don't they? The fucking frails. Stain's gonna pop up in front of me, and then do this bullet hell nonsense. Well, the angel statue just runs around as well as the crappy lines. Maybe we should try and get them to hurt themselves on the poops. It's probably a strong idea, actually. Let's get rid of one of them, that works too. Yep. Right, don't be down below, because we don't know where... Yeah, I was, I was literally about to say, we don't know what we're going to get, and it's bound to be the bloke. So... Of course we get two monsters, two uh, enemies that can do a massive brimstone attack on us at any time. At the same time. And that leap across... In fact, these are the same bloody enemy, except one of them is slightly worse than the other one. Let's see what we can do with Monstro 2 first. Uh, <laughs> by virtue of... Oh, I was out of the range of that. Did you even see? This is actually really difficult. Because you can't see where the bloke's going to be. And you can't see where Monstro 2 is going to be. And they're both going to land on top of you at exactly the same time and do the same friggin' thing. I'm half tempted to fool out of here and just give up on it. 
Again, very mobile enemies at the same time. There's, there's a lot of similarity between the enemies that are appearing together in this boss rush. That one hit me. <laughs> Man, Gimpy would have been great for this run. Oh well. We're here now. Just don't get hit by Death's side. Let's get rid of Death. Death, stop it. Death, be gone. I have your horse, Death. I picked it up on the first floor. Right, good. Now we take out actual death. Don't worry about these minions. That's fine. Worry about the horse, mostly. Gemini doing its job. That's good. Just probably worry about these now. What was that? Creep, maybe? Right, we should be able to deal with this without too much heartache, and then we get another spirit heart from the battery charge. We have to worry about Loki deciding to, you know, teleport on top of us again. It's these teleporting enemies on a big room like this that are really going to be the bane of our existence. Whew. Right, just calm down. You're not going to lose, but it may be reasonably do. Oh, God. So you're teleporting enemy, and an enemy we have to go around and around and around. Maybe that one will kill that one. Or maybe we can convince that one to land on the red poop or something. That one hit me. That was a bloody good shot, let's be honest. The fact that the uh, blast assist there managed to hit me with a random array of 12 shots <laughs> whilst I was sort of happily, oh Jesus, happily dodging around. Oh, we've done. And there's more options for us. So we will take this and then we will just, just sit back and think about what happened, how much HP we came in with and how strong a damage benefit, uh, damage penalty we're going to take for that. And also, where's my deal with the devil? Where's my deal with the devil? I feel I have a right to be indignant about that. Anyway. Womb one. Normal womb. We're used to the womb. It's not utero. It's not XL. It's just... It is what it is. So we'll take our time. Not too much time. That bus rush took five minutes, by the way. We'll use this. The moon. Uh, we do want to get to the hush fight, although... How much damage you took on boss for us just now? Uh, you may wonder why I put a bomb down whilst all that was going on. I also wonder why I put a, bo uh, a, a, a bomb down while all that was going on. Nevertheless, it is done. Uh, I should have used this on the next room, but never mind. Two keys. We can afford two keys. What we can't afford is to spend the time deliberating on whether we want to use two keys. A higher effect. That's very good for us right now. Uh, in the run I did off camera just for myself, before I started this I had uh, picked up Blank Hard in the shop and Mom's game. And I'm still sort of in the mode, and Dark Judas in fact, and I'm still in the mode where I think I've got those. So, oh, Hierophant, Blank Hard. No, don't have Blank Hard. Blank Hard, Hierophant, don't get me wrong, would be incredible. But it's not an option for us right now. I'll take the bomb. I am on the lookout for woo, tinted rocks too. Uh, we can get them for free, of course, without spending a bomb. In fact, we can get a spirit heart and then get the spirit heart, hopefully, from the tinted rock too, by judicious use of the nail. Of course, chances are I would have used the nail already. So it may not be an option. Relax. Probably not what we're going to be wanting right now. Here's the boss. Right, good. We just want to get out of here, basically. And a charge just in time. It's death again. Death, we just beat you up. We are done you. It's the boomerang shots. I hate these ones. We've got to try and take them out also while actually beating up death himself. Which... No mean feat, if I'm honest. And of course, avoid the fact that these things do these orthogonal shots. Well, yeah, there we go. Excellent. Uh, we will take this. Because it's damage and HP, which is exactly what we want. And we will take Empty Vessel. Because now we are an Empty Vessel and we can fly. So we'll get down here and try and beat this next room ASAP. <laughs> this next floor ASAP. Uh, I'm honestly not sure whether we're going to be able to get to Hush. Um, fuck me. Seriously? You saw that. You all saw it. But there was a tinted drop, but it was not much use. Uh... Oh, I got really confused there, because Gemini decided to do its own. Fuck me. Look, 
game. If you're going to sit all over me, just do it fast, right? Ow, jeez. That's, uh, that's an invincibility room. It's going to help. Inevitably. But when, I don't know. Apparently we have invincibility now anyway, as a result of... Uh, empty Vessel. Empty Vessel does give you occasional random invincibilities. And we did pick up Midas Touch at the end of Boss Rush, so we should... Uh, realize that those two work well together and use it. Good. Good timing, good timing. Right, we just need to beat Mom within the next minute and a half, and I think we can do it. Uh, Mom's heart, of course. Within the next minute and a half, and I think we can do it. Let's use Gemini to do that. Let's put a bomb here to do that. Yep. Black Heart. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> we'll use this. We'll try not to get hit by these. We've got... Invincibility, so we should do as much damage as we can. Good. Whilst it's active, here we go. And, oh! We actually got a uh, uh, Midas Touch freeze there rather than any other type, which is pretty nice. Uh, we do have these orbitals. It's a shame we didn't manage to get the opportunity to pick up the BFFs. Because BFFs is a very nice thing to have. Dodge there, very good. Dodge here, very good. We have got plenty of time. We don't need that. We will manage it. Well, I know I said we might not, but we did. You're still here. I'm still here. <sighs> Ten keys is plenty of keys. We're in a question marks, which is the blue wing, of course. I don't know what that does. We'll go in here. I don't really think I want any of these. Maybe we'll take this because we have not a great... The Hanged Man. Oh, I haven't got money. We don't have a great pill rotation. Right, maybe we've got one health up and I don't want it anymore. Uh, and we do have the Ace of Spades right now, so we're going to get more cards anyway. What does this do? Or a stat boost. Don't really know what that means. I'm just checking for Tinted Drops. I don't want either of these things. Bob's Brain is going to be extremely dangerous. We're already creating plenty of bombs. No Tinted Drops. Let's go and try and beat Hush without losing all of this HP. We do have this Algiz rune. Algiz rune, by the way. I I'm aware of this, but I'd rather not use it if I don't have to. I don't think it's true that the Hush fight is calibrated based on the damage you do to Blue Baby here, or this pseudo Blue Baby. Uh, I think it is true that the Hush has resistances to certain types of damage, which means that you have to alternate and adjust for your types of damage as you go through. I also think it's true that we have Empty Vessel giving us random invincibility every so often, so... If we want to try and do a different type of damage, we will do it when we're invincible as a result of uh, getting Gemini nice and close. So do pay attention to yourself, I think is the trick here, as well as the Hush and Gemini, etc. Et yeah, so that are. Oop. And also, dodge. <laughs> Dodging is important in this fight. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Let's get the Gemini trick going. When we can't... Let's <laughs> take invincibility. Come on. Uh, when the hush is gone on the ground. Like the clash. Cure the jam. They're all the same, aren't they? Well, maybe not the cure. I have this theory that bands come in threes. Or twos. Right, there's a jam in the clash. There's Coldplay and Travis. There's Blur and Pulp. You know where I'm going with this. There's only a very few bands that are unique in their time frame. We'll uh, get in here and use Gemini for this, as we said we would. Uh, even, like, the 70s and 80s classic rock time, every band was basically the same, doing the same sort of anthemic how did I avoid damage in any of that situation. Uh... I'm just going to stay back when that's, that thing happens. Uh, that sort of anthemic power metal ballad etc. music 
It's all, it's all that. It's all the same, man. Not that it's not great, you know? I don't, I don't want to be belittling the... Oop, we've got invincibility, so we should get in here and do as much damage as we can. Probably take these out. Yeah. But, yeah, bands seem to come in twos and threes, which is obscure. It's sort of a phenomenon that I have had cause to notice over my tenure here on this planet. Which itself, by the way, I didn't ask for. Not that I'm complaining, again. I'm just pointing out that there appears to be certain obligations visited upon me. Based on the fact that I was sort of brought here against my will. Ah, we'll move in. We're invincible. Go, 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 Gemini. Do damage. We're doing really well on this fight. I can't help but notice. I don't want to blow my own bubble. Not like Michael Jackson. But we haven't been hit yet. <laughs> oh, I think we've been hit once because we got the bombs, didn't we? I'm remembering being hit based on how many bombs we've seen rather than how hit I've been. That's okay, never mind. Please. Oh god. How am I safe now? Now there's bombs. What's happening? Why did I end up there? I'm pretty sure I didn't press any of the buttons required to get me there. Ah, uh, we're invincible. Go, 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 go. We're doing fine. We're taking a bit of damage. Nuns have it would have really have helped at this point, but we don't have it. I avoided that by the skin of my teeth, which is a thing. Nope, didn't avoid that though. We do have the negative, by the way. Um, often people, we always talk about permanent Polaroid invincibility because it's the benefit you get from having basically no red hearts when you have the Polaroid. Um, but the negative, there's Necronomicon damage in the same situation and we are not doing well right now because the Hush will not come up for purposes of taking damage. Come on. How am I supposed to do damage to this son of a bitch? If all I get is this bullet hell bullshit. Here we go. Damage, 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 damage. Don't hit me, 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 don't hit me. I didn't get hit. Inconceivable. And now we get to play in show. Probably should have used the allergies room before we got <laughs> we got too scared just now, but now I can use it in Sheol. And of course we have to beat Mega Satan, so maybe we can use it there instead. Uh, I don't like these things by any stretch. Oh, it's fine then. What's this? Joker. Joker allergies. Let's just use the Joker. Uh, fight Krampus, I guess. Do damage. Quick. Die, 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 die. Oh god. I hate this attack. This attack is the one that causes me the most damage. It doesn't quite telegraph it long enough for my pathetic attempt at, uh, at, at reactioning, reacting. Uh, can you poke? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> it's alright. Next floor we get our nail charge back on. Next floor, next room. Tower. Not really care for that. We'll use this now. It didn't give us invincibility, just <laughs> just damage. Uh, that's very nice. One in here? Nope. Secret room? Nope. But we have enough bombs that I don't feel too bad about doing this. And we are now back at a sensible amount of HP that I'm not scared of. Yeah, the... Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> Call me what you will. Why would I do that? Uh, okay, that was that was answers, which means we know we need to go this way. Please. Ah, invincible. Well, let's get rid of you then, and then let's go rid of you. Probably a good idea to get rid of the greeds before we break this thing apart too much, because it's just going to be more stuff on the screen, isn't it? And that's where you take the damage, you know. It's not it's not from difficult dodges. It's from overfilling the screen. Well, it is from difficult dodges, but you do it to yourself by filling the screen up with enemies. I need to work on my Krampus, is what I'm saying. Um, it's, it's difficult. The, the telegraphing of the shot that always gets me 
slightly longer, uh, slightly shorter than I, I need, in order to have a decent chance of avoiding it. Why am I shooting these fires? Good question. What do we need? Any of the things we can get from the fires? Oh, good question. This is decent, man. Uh, guppy. <laughs> All three guppy items in one chest. And we get a nail charge for the boss fight, which uh, seems intentional, but once again, isn't. I think we're doing okay here. Uh, I don't feel too unconfident anymore about fighting Mega Satan. At the same time, we haven't really knocked it out of the park when it comes to doing a large amount of damage. Right? And this is just two Krampuses at once, so what do you want from me, really? Ah, invincibility will help, obviously. Help us do a uh, Midas Touch Freeze. All these things happening at once benefit me greatly. Oh. Kill it. Good. Right. Obviously, that wasn't ideal, Satan fight. <laughs> but uh, I didn't really manage to keep it at bay in the manner that I'd normally expect. That was close. Right, this would have been a great run to have had Pyromaniac, wouldn't it? Alas, it was not to be. Ah, invincibility. Go to town. Go to town, die, 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 die. Look, the longer, the amount of damage, the more damage we can get done with invincibility, the better I'm going to feel. And ready for the glitch? There it is. I will fix it one day. I just don't know what to do about it. Maybe I should Google it. Maybe I should Google it. As with all of life's problems. What's this strange discharge? How do I fix the... Ooh, a guppy item. How do I fix the colorblind problem in... We've still got our algae screen. Uh, not down with that. I'd like the uh, other one to go away. Oh, I was hoping to get a uh, nail charge in case you're wondering what I'm doing here. So we can go into the Mega Satan fight with more damage, but in fact what I've managed to do is... Oh, you again. I'll take you. Um... In fact, what I've managed to do is just take more damage <laughs> and give myself a, a lowered chance as a result. You can take more damage immediately, please. Good, excellent. Wow, Gemini's doing a really, really decent job. I was expecting Gemini to sort of lose affection. Affection? Effectiveness? Yeah, effectiveness. Uh, towards the end game. But it, was, it didn't turn out that way at all. Ah, one more rune. A reasonably easy one as well, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, and a uh, very useful invisibility proc, just at the right time. Gives a... So we'll use this, just because. And then we'll get this, and then we'll go to the Mega Satan fight. And hopefully we'll get in a good position. It's only been 40 minutes. We've taken some dumb damage, which is inevitable, because I'm a terrible, terrible Isaac player. But we have a fighting chance here, I think. If we can just manage to execute some sensible dodges. Like this. Obviously the difficult part of the Mega Satan fight, besides the the waves. Like this. What a perfect time to get invincibility though. Besides the waves. Why are you fighting me and also doing waves at the same time? Thank you. Um, is... The, the weird random uh, shots that he does. You know, the, the slow shots, the like the one we just saw, the, the, the tunnel shots. I can cope with them. <laughs> you know, I know where they're going to be. All I need to do is react to when they change direction. And there's a corner, shall we say, in the in the channels. Wow! Did that grandpa fly just take out <laughs> death? I'm happy if it did. But it's this sort of shot here that's not this sort of shot. The other sort of shot is going to be the problem for us. Where we can't really be certain where the shot's going to be. We're not going to get any advantage out of... Oh shit, what do I do here? <laughs> Hello. I did not see you there. I literally had no idea you were there. Uh, that's going to put us at a serious disadvantage, if I'm being honest. But yeah, it's those particular shots that are going to be... Bane of my existence right now. Can't can't necessarily avoid them. Tend to fill the screen. 
I'm still a pretty bad player. <laughs> Taking a lot of damage. You know, even if we respawn with Guppy's collar, we're not going to be in for fighting chance. One more. One more. One more wave. One more wave. Right, watch out for the bombs here. That's going to be our main problem. And the fact that Lust is really, really fast. That's a secondary problem. It's frozen. Do the damage. Get in there. Good. Wow, let's, uh, Warn. Roth knows how to get out of the way. Super Roth. Jesus. We're invincible again. Go, do some damage. Get in there. Midas Touch, of course, doing good damage whenever we actually hit something. Gemini doing good damage. And we've actually got shots. Oh, fuck. Help. <laughs> we did it. No. Trying to bait it into doing the brimstone attack. This is the one I'm scared of. What is this? I've never seen this before. I, I know what it is. It's the hollow. I've never seen the hollow in a Mega Satan fight before. Can we please get onto the next stage? I'm going to die. I'm not going to win this. Oh, we were doing so well. Yeah, that, 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 that. What a great time to have invincibility again. This is fucking clutch. And of course, we have the Algis Rune, which I'm just suddenly using without thinking about it. Probably should have waited for our invincibility to wear off. Never mind, it's done. Die, 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 die. Algis Rune lasts a very long time, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, about 40 seconds, I think? Can I do damage to Mega Satan like this? I don't know. I'm thinking contact damage. How are you still alive? Yeah, nice try. Oh my god. Right. This is just going to be impossible, but never mind. If we die, we die. If we have to come back and try all this again, so be it. Um, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to keep playing my best. See how we do. Simple as that. Oh god. Fuck. That's it. We're done. Well, 718th, not too bad. We did not do well on that fight at all. That was not not good play. <laughs> I'm just going to come straight out and say it. Hands up in the air. That sucked. But, well... If you are listening to me say this, you at least watch me try. And for that, I am grateful. Oh, I said that in such a voice, like I don't mean it. I am grateful that you're watching these, you know. I'm doing these every day just for my own enjoyment. I like playing this game. And if you like watching it, let me know, man. I've not heard from anybody. Oh, poor little Bobo not getting anybody telling him he likes him. No, I'm just saying. If you like it, share it, leave a like subscribe so you can get your friends involved uh, I'm going to keep doing these irrespective of whether people are watching them or not but you know I appreciate the audience so if you do enjoy it let me know and I'll see you next time